Now, number one on the Cletus Seldon Has No Life. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? Cletus Selden has no life or sometimes has a life. I have a special, special gift of a uh, for, for every Funko fan that's out there. Uh, today I thought today would be a good video for me to do a special Funko Pop thing. Um, as you can see right now the Pops are a little messed up. So I'm going to tell you why. Um, before I get to that, I want to thank all the new subs, uh, the comments, you guys are doing great. I like to reply to all you guys, it's been cool. And uh, I'm gonna continue to keep making my vlog videos for boxing. Um, I have a box here that's probably gonna be open before this video. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see what happens. All right, but on to news. Let's get into it. Today, I wanna do a video on one thing, and that is my top 10 for my own collection. I have them all out, and I'm gonna show you guys them right now. Starting out, number ten. He is from the Star Wars series. Number thirty-two. He's an exclusive from the Star Wars Celebration Europe. Um, he has. Uh, he comes from the San Diego Comic Con as well, but he was. This one was the same as that one, and it comes with a sticker, and that is Boba Fett Droid. I did a review on this pop on my channel. You can check it out. This is a very rare pop that a lot of people have, and this is my number 10. Number... Nine from the Marvel series, Marvel Universe. He's a uh, San Diego Comic Con 2011 480 piece limited. That is the metallic thing. Um, this pop is a freaking awesome pop. I bought this pop and pretty much all these Marvel pops you're gonna see all in one bundle. It was crazy. I think I did a video on that one as well. I haven't got to uh, do the review on this one yet, but I have all these guys in the back at the highest uh, way you can actually find them. Bam. So, number nine. Number eight. Star Wars series. He's a number 15 it's from Embo City Comic Con. And that is the Stormtrooper Han Solo. I have Luke as well. I haven't done a review on these guys, but this guy is another awesome pop that you would definitely want to add to your collection. Pretty cool. Number seven. Um, this guy is from the Marvel Universe set. It's pretty funny how it's going. Star Wars, Marvel, Star Wars, and now we're back to Marvel. He is from the 2011 San Diego Comic Con. He's limited to 480 pieces. He's metallic. He is the man. He is Spider-Man. Uh, this pop is another fantastic pop. Another pop that I got from the same uh, buyer that sold me the thing. And I have everyone on the back, like I said, at the highest form. Um, this is a cool pop. Definitely the best Spider-Man on the market. Number... Number six. He is not a Star Wars pop. He's not a Marvel pop. He's actually a television pop. He's limited to 480 pieces again. He's from the 2013 San Diego Comic Con. He glows in the dark. He is the White Ranger. This pop is another must have if you are a, a Power Ranger fan at all. This is on everybody's list. 
mostly everyone if they have them they have the pink white and red uh, like the common one but they don't have this limited edition uh, pop I have everyone on the back as well and I have the regular common white one uh, this pop they just did the re making of the uh, not the remaking the new launching of the other guys uh, the blue uh, yellow green and black with the metallic uh, blue and I know they got some new metallic ones coming out but they don't have this bad boy and he is locked up in my home all right number five that is a Star Wars another San Diego comic-con 480 pieces not too many people have ever posted this pop right here and I'm gonna do a review on them soon and that is Mr. Biggs Dark Lighter I heard they might be doing a remake of them not sure but this guy is mine and he's in my collection I have everybody on the back of this there's only one Star Wars Papa missing and he's a shadow trooper and I've been on the freaking look for him all right number four and that right here is Mr. America himself he's the he's metallic he's from the Marvel Universe series he's number six on the on the box and that is from the 2011 San Diego Comic-Con limited edition metallic again Captain America oh my god what is going on all these guys I got them I got to do a review for these bad boys these guys are awesome they are shining up they are lighting my house on fire right now all right we got three left so coming in at number three on my Lita Selden has no life <laughs> pops is from uh, the Marvel series and that is another San Diego 2012 uh, Comic Con pop limited to 480 pieces he is dun -dun -dun. let's see if we get the back first of them um, and that is Loki this pop is a freaking oh my god once I saw that this this series was out when I started collecting he was on my to-do list and I got him again in this whole big Marvel uh, buy one day and it was crazy from a guy in Spain uh, some doctor uh, I got this I got the, the freaking spider-man uh, the thing the Captain America it was insane so I got all these guys right here in one buy uh, this pop is fucking amazing look at that bad boy Woo! not too many Loki's out there all right no number two on my list is the one and only I've done a review on him before and people thought I was crazy well the girlfriend did and that is number six from the you know what 2011 San Diego Comic-Con he's limited to 480 pieces just like the rest of them and that is a what Chewbacca um, this guy goes in one of my best cases I don't even know where they sell this case from but this guy is freaking amazing uh, he is a must-have I like I said I have all these guys in their blue boxes and this guy is a must on any Star Wars Funko Pop collector at all it doesn't matter who you are if you wanted two or if you wanted one of them this guy if you saw him in a store or anywhere uh, at a con or whatever you would pick him up now number one on the Cletus Selden has no life 2016 Funko Pop uh, collection whatever you want to call it it is the glow-in-the-dark 
2012 San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And he, glow, like I said, glows in the dark. Number 23, my old football number. He's from the Star Wars series. And that is the hollow, graphic, dark ball. This guy comes in one of my, like I said, these, these, these acrylic, really hard uh, cases that are very hard to find. I have no idea the company that makes them. And you can just see the thickness on that bad boy. There is nothing happened to this thing. If there was a freaking earthquake or if a volcano hit, it would suck it right through. Probably would end everything. But this guy right here is a fucking must have pop. Look at that thing. Holy shit. Well, this is my top 10 pops that I own. Let me step back and give you guys a little view of them real quick and call it a day. So, Cletus Selden has no life. 2016 top 10 pick, uh, top 10 pops. And this is in September 2016. Here we go. We'll start from the bottom. Starting with the Boba Fett. You got Thing. You got Han. Spider Man. Metallic. You got Ghost Rider. Mr. Biggs himself. Look at that Metallic Captain America. Loki's incredible. Oh my god, he's going to kill everyone's father. Lock to Bach, amazing, and the one and only must have for any pop fan a holographic Darth Maul. Uh, you guys all know what the prices are for these, and I have them part of my collection. And that's only my top 10. I have so many other pops that I could do and, and show you from series. So this is uh this is it this is all i got and on top of that i only been collecting since march 2016 so that's it folks that's all i got for you hope you enjoy let me know below what your top 10 is or your top five or the top pop in your collection please send it to me and let me talk to you about it and i want to hear what you guys have Definitely gonna hang on with this one. We're, we're moving pretty fast, surprisingly. Protect your protect your cameras. I got yeah. you. Got everything. Till I come. Look at this. Look at that little balloon. Next thing I was crashing on the bottom. <laughs> little people the king and the princess He's like skiing, he said. Oh, hold on. All right. We did it. That was bad. We were cooking. Oh, my God. <laughs> we made it. I don't think we're going to be able to keep it upright. Should we get out of there? No, not yet. Did you get out of there? Yeah. 